the president does some executive order this weekend, which basically just says, I have to do this because uh, Speaker Pelosi is blocking checks to you and she's blocking rent relief. What do you do? I mean, it, it, it's probably illegal. Uh, but if he does it and does it against you, what is what we come in on Monday? What are you going to say? Well, let me let's not talk about him. Let's talk about what the right thing is to do. Now, he can do extend the moratorium and I hope that he does. But you can't just have a moratorium. You have to have money. So if they extend the moratorium, uh, people won't have to pay their rent just yet. It'll be pushed further down the road unless we give some money for them to um, uh, to compensate for what they are, uh, they have to get. And that's not just for the renters. That's for the landlords. What good is it to the landlords if you have a moratorium until the end of the year for people to pay their rent unless there's some money to help pay the rent? That's just one of the things. Again, we have been there. It's about jobs. If people have jobs, then everything is better. If we have a, a, a scientific approach to defeating the virus, everything is better. That's why we have in there jobs, that is, honoring our heroes, healthcare workers, first responders, teachers, sanitation, transportation workers, etc., uh, that are paid for, are, are employed by state and local government. If they don't get this money, the, many of these people, millions of them, will be unemployed and go on unemployment insurance. So what money is that saving as it reduces services uh, for those who are risking their lives to save lives now they're going to lose their job because, because, because all of a sudden uh, the Republicans have become uh, deficit hawks and don't want to support state and local governments. Democrats and Republican mayors, governors, county executives, etc., are appealing for this.